For this demo, I will use the group policy object as per the scenario discussed earlier. For that, I will go to the server manager tools and the group policy management console that we use to create and manage the group policy objects, a collection of group policy settings. I will choose my forest, which is contoso.com, which is a single domain forest and the domain is contoso.com. In this contoso.com container of the domain, I have many GPUs. On the right side, you see many of the GPUs like Contoso. Uh, this is context app policy, excuse me. And uh, then we have uh, default domain policies and the default domain controller policies, which are the default group policy objects that automatically that are all automatically there when you deploy the domain. Windows client policy is the GPU as per the scenario that we want to evaluate that how many or what percentage of policies can be migrated to Intune. So for that, I will right click and export this group policy object. For that, I can go with save report. I can generate a report out of it. And uh, this report I will be storing into the XML format. So this is the group policy management console I'm using. I'm storing it into the documents with XML format and name I will keep as same windows client policy dot XML and will save this configuration. Well, this is how I can export the group policy object into the XML so that I can generate the report. Now I will move to the Intune administrator or administration center. This is Microsoft admin center. And in the Intune portal, intune.microsoft.com, I'll go to devices and uh, we'll show you that we have few devices there that we can see the configuration, manage devices. And there we have group policy analytics. Under the group policy analytics, let me scroll this down. Here you see group policy analytics. There I can uh, import the group policy objects. I have options to export and import. Right now there is nothing. So I will be importing a GPU. I will go to this import button and will open this Windows client policy dot XML GPU. This is the GPU that I want open group policy management console from there. You can go with GPU backup and then export it also. So this is the XML report you can generate. That is another way. So things can be done in different ways, be it through PowerShell you want to do it or this way. Now scope tags, I will ignore at this moment and will create this group policy object analytics here 89 percent is supported in mdm you can select all so 89 percent of policies of this gpu are supported by mdm for rest 11 percent you need you need to look for alternative solutions like i mentioned earlier either write the custom scripts powershell or bash shell scripts depending on the target platform or apply the configuration manually from the Intune portal or use the policy CSP, the configuration service provider. If I go to the group policy analytics and MECM is another option, SECM, it was known as system center configuration manager. Today it is known as Microsoft endpoint configuration manager that can resolve this uh, or solve this problem of remaining 11% of the group policies. Well, if I refresh this to see the group policy analytics report, it takes some time to generate this report. I can see the readiness report in the reports tab as well. There is a tab on the top right as you see. So upload summary zero group policy objects right now. Here I can go to this group policy analytics once again to refresh this console and I can see this Windows client policy MDM support 89% is supported Windows client policy. So that's there. This is Windows client policy. Now I will go back to the report 
we'll close this console and we'll go to the reports and uh, we'll generate the readiness report group policy analytics is the blade where in the right side pane you can see summary and reports here you have group policy migration readiness report and uh, you can generate it from there reports group policy migration and uh, i will see the profile settings migration readiness for all profile type all csp name all that i want to include in it and generate this report you can click on this generate again button to generate the report you can export these reports also you have been given this option of export this readiness report takes some time to be generated it says report successfully generated but it may take some time to pop be populated so generating the report this report is basically readiness report for migration readiness and the profile type for this is actually the uh, profile type and the csp name you can see that which csp name will work for this migration well as i said that it will take some time to generate it so this is how we can generate the readiness report later you can evaluate this report i hope this tutorial was informative to you thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel for more videos